Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we have got something super exciting for all of you guys. So we're going to learn like how to create AI apps in just few minutes. And you know what's the best part is? You don't need any coding skills for that. Like, yes, you heard it right. So you know, in this video, we're not just creating only one app, but we'll be creating three apps out of this amazing platform, which is Imagica AI. So now I'm going to show you guys how you can create quick apps with no code, like literally in just under five minutes, like without any problem. All right. So, you know, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right. So, first of all, uh, what you need to do is you need to go to uh, this website right over here, which is imagica.ai. And after that, you know, this is basically the kind of interface which says build a no code AI app in minutes. Okay. So, it's a new way to think and create with computers. So, this is a very cool uh, interface of a Magica AI website. So, you know, this is a tutorial video for that. So you can look into that as well. And then, uh, you know, it basically shows all the simplest way to build an AI app. You require no code. You can create AI functions, real time data, multi model, and basically, you know, a lot of work of functions and features through which you can create AI apps in just minutes. So, you know, let's just go ahead and dive into it and see like how you can do that like very, very easily. Okay. So first of all, you need to continue uh, with your Gmail. You can simply do that very easily. And after that, it will just basically direct you uh, to its interface or dashboard, you can say. So, you know, Either, first of all, you can create new project or you can browse through the templates as well, which is really, really cool. So now you have all, all the templates. You have like business app, education app, travel app, cooking app. So, you know, uh, through these templates, I'll basically provide you a very quick demo of how you can create like very quick app with just prompts. Okay. So first of all, let's just go ahead and explore this image to text template. Okay. All right. So, you know, uh, in this image to text template, so we'll basically, you know, first of all, it will ask you to upload the image and then it will describe the image for you through uh, this run prompt right over here. And after that, you know, it will also generate a short story based on the image description, which is really, really cool. Okay. So, you know, uh, first of all, let's just go ahead and publish this template right over here. And, you know, after that, we need to go ahead and, you know, publish all of these content uh, to our web page. I'm just going to go ahead and publish that. But, you know, uh, before that, we need to go ahead and add a published format. So, you know, for that, you need to select AI app because uh, this will be our AI app. And you know, after that, you need to first of all, publish this as content. And after that, you need to go ahead and go to this my AI app. And you know, you need to basically go ahead and publish all of these boxes into this, you know, kind of a format of website right over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and publish this as content. I'm going to go ahead and publish this as my content as well, because I want, you know, all of these features in my web app. Okay. So yeah, as you guys can see right over here, so first of all, we have image to text. So you say, welcome, this is a generative AI web app built in Imagica. So you can go ahead, if you want, you can edit that as well. It's very, very easy. You can ed edit that according to your taste. Uh, you can edit the title of this as well. So, you know, I think for me, uh, this looks quite okay. So now I'm just going to go ahead and publish this web app. So, you know, it will start publishing this. And after some time, it will say you, uh, you know, their web app has successfully been updated. So you can go ahead and copy this link, paste into your new tab. So now your web app is completely ready. Okay. So now you can use that. You can, first of all, you need to input your user input. So you can drag and drop your files here to upload them. Uh, 50 MB max size file. So let's just go ahead and give it a try. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it an image and let's just see how good it's going to provide with the description and as well as the short story for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, you know, attach an image to that. All right. So first of all, let's just go ahead and attach an image of this coffee shop GIF. So, you know, let's just say like what description is going to provide me in that. I'm just going to go ahead and hit submit. All right. So now as you guys can see, like our process has been completed. So first of all, you know, uh, this was a basically our image. You know, it's a coffee shop with a lighting. So it's kind of a GIF. So for that, it gave me the description like this image. It picks a cozy coffee shop on a rainy or misty night. The coffee shop has prominent neon sign on the roof displaying the word coffee as you guys can see right over here so the shop is large inviting windows that glow warmly the streetscape is reflective suggesting wetness and the colors are reflected on the street surface as you guys can see right over here. so you know it provided me the actual description like very exact description of whatever image i provided to uh this amazing ai app so no after that it also generated the story for us like how cool is that you know the rain fell steadily on the quiet city streets as night settled over the town. So it's, very, it's a very beautiful story about 
the image I provided to this AI web app. So now it's, it was just for, uh, you know, the places, right? So what's the best part about this AI web app is basically you can also provide the description about the human faces as well. You know, like the exact description. So let's just go ahead and test that out real quickly. So I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, upload an image of mine. Let's just say that. So this image looks quite good. So I basically provided this image uh, to this user input where I'm standing, I'm wearing a jacket, I'm wearing, I'm basically standing in a commercial area. So let's just go ahead and hit submit and see like what kind of description is gonna provide me for this image right over here. All right, so our process has been completed. So now as you guys can see, saying the image features a young man standing in front of an outdoor seating area, possibly a cafe or a casual dining spot which is very exact if you see in the picture, right? Because we have like seats, we have like, you know, uh, it's a commercial area and it says he's wearing a dark colored bomber jacket with a patch on the left side, as you guys can see right over here. And it's saying a black shirt and black trouser, which is really, really exact, okay? So the young man has a serious expression and his hairstyle, hairstyle upwards with a neat haircut. As you guys can see in the background, there's a stand with the words take away which was right away, it's just very, very exact, and it's very, very efficient, like I'm literally so much amazed right now. So it says uh, there is also a bright colored poster or advertisement showing a motorcycle, which was right over, like look at that, how beautiful this is. So uh, it's saying, suggesting this could be a commercial area with various services or promotions on display. And not only that, it also provided me with a complete story about the picture, like it was just a little picture and about that provided me the complete description you know, making sure like every point is covered and along with that as well as a story. Like this is really, really amazing, right? All right, and for our next app, that's gonna be really, really interesting. We are about to create like a maths app out of this amazing AI tool. So, you know, first of all, uh, it will ask you like few of the questions. So first of all, it asks you the subject, then will ask you like the class level, like which class, you know, are you making uh, the maths app for? And then the number of students, like how many students are there in your class? Okay, so this could be a very useful app for uh, like any teacher you want to create like, you know, uh, like objectives for the lesson plan or you want to uh, generate the activities for the lesson plan based on the subject class level number of students and the input provided, okay? So now let's just go ahead and first of all, you know, implement all that. All right, so we are set up with everything. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and publish this uh, real quickly to create a web app out of that. All right, so this all has been published. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this, come to uh, my new tab and paste it right over here. So, you know, as you guys can see, uh, the web app of uh, my math app has been created. So you say create a lesson plan, design a lesson plan tailored to your subject, class level and number of students, get the perfect lesson plan for your classroom today. Okay, so this uh, again could be a very useful web app for teachers. So you know, uh, for the subject, let's just go ahead and for basic economics. Then we have ninth grade and they had 25 students in the class. So if I can go ahead and submit all that. So yeah, as you guys can see, it's basically first of all showing the objectives. You know, by the end of the lesson, students will be able to define basic economic concepts such as supply, demand and scarcity and explain their significance in real world scenarios. And these are all the objectives of that. And after that, if you jump forward, so this is basically the lesson plan that we needed. Okay, so it's saying lesson plan for basic economics ninth grade. So objective to introduce students to the basic concepts of economics and develop their understanding of key economic principles. So material needed uh, will be like whiteboard or blackboard, markers or chalk, handouts or worksheet. Then there we have is the lesson plan. First of all, we'll have introduction to economics, which will be 10 minutes and in we have like all these features. Then we have basic economics concepts and then the number three, we have supply and demand topic. Then we have market equilibrium, economic systems. Then we have assessments and wrap up, okay? So you know, after that, it's also providing me with few more description of based on the subject class level that number of students provided. Here are some appropriate assessment methods for a basic economics lesson plan for ninth grade with 25 students. So we can go ahead and go for multiple choice quiz. We can go ahead and go for group projects, case studies, presentations, written assignments. So you know, it's a very, very useful app if you are a teacher and you want to, you know, create a lesson plan for your students, okay? So you can go ahead, you can change that according to your need. You can Go ahead and like select mathematics. Let's just go ahead and do that real quickly. And ninth grade, let's just say we are like in 12th grade, okay? And for the students, let's just say we have 30 students now, okay? Now I'm just gonna go ahead and submit this once again to see like what kind of output is gonna provide me now. So it is really, really quick. It's saying the objective is by the end of the lesson, students will be able to solve complex mathematical problems, all right? And then we have the lesson plan, materials data will be this. And we have warm activity, introduction, concept, 
explanation, hands-on practice, summarization and closure, assessments, you know, all that important, you know, objectives and methods that we need in order to create a math app or, you know, any kind of a lesson plan for our students, okay? All right, so for our third AI web app, we're going to be creating a upload file app. So, you know, over here, uh, let's just take an example. You upload your CV or resume, right? So, you know, uh, this amazing AI app will run that image. So, you know, it, it's, gonna, it's just going to be uh, like a regular image or it can be a PDF or anything you want. So, you know, uh, it will run that and it will list a potential job based on your listed skills. And, you know, it will basically list all those for you. And after that, it will highlight strengths of your resume. Okay, so it not only, you know, lists the jobs for you, but it also like highlight like what kind of strengths you have in your resume, which is really, really important. So after that, our third prompt is going to point out missing pieces in resume. Let's just say your resume is not perfect. So, you know, uh, this amazing web AI app is going to tell you like, you know, this your resume is missing like literally these things. So you can go ahead and, you know, you can basically complete that for uh, in able to find the perfect job out for you. All right. So let's just go ahead and publish this first of all. And we're going to test it out after then. All right. So our web app has been published. I'm just going to go ahead and place this link into my new tab and, you know, Let's just test it out now. All right, so first of all, uh, it's saying to add a knowledge source. So our supported PDF formats are PDF, XLSX, CSP, TXT, DOC, DOCX, like anything you can provide in over here. So, all right, so uh, let's just say uh, this is my CV. And if I can go ahead and, you know, drag and drop my CV right over here. So first of all, you know, it will basically upload that. And after I hit submit, so let's just see what kind of output is going to give it to me on that. All right, so first of all, as you guys can see, it's going to provide me with a description. It will say like based on the provided context information, it is difficult to determine the missing pieces in the resume without having access to the actual resume. The context information only provides a brief overview of the candidate's work, experience, skills, and education. So it basically says like there are not like uh, that much uh, missing pieces in my resume. But if you can go ahead and, you know, uh, check for the potential jobs uh, based on the list of skills that I have in a resume. And, you know, for that, it's basically showing me all the skills and, you know, all the things that I can apply for, uh, you know, with the help of just a resume that I uploaded in this amazing web app. All right. All right, guys. And there you have it. In, like just a few minutes, you can create like AI apps without writing a single line of code. You know, so Imagica AI has made it incredibly easy for anyone so, you know, uh, like harness the power of artificial intelligence. So, you know, the possibilities are endless from image recognition to natural language processing. It's all at your fingertips now. So, yeah, I hope you like this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.